Hi, so in this video we'll talk about rewrites. Um, as you can see that uh, I have opened the page uh, localhost 3000 slash about and if I go to my project then and I look at the pages folder there is no about page here. Um, there's a blog folder, news folder, football and index but there is no about page but still it is showing a page. How is that? That is uh, done or implemented using rewrites so a rewrite is basically if that we um, supply a URL in a configuration to Next.js and then we say that if you if a user hits that URL or pattern or whatever then it would be redirected to it won't be redirected but it, basically it would show the page for um, another URL basically so if I say uh, right now that uh, um, if the about slash about URL should be hit then it should show the page at slash that is index page the home page the main page basically so it is different than redirect in a way that uh, in redirect client side uh, redirection happens uh, when I open a page and I say that it should be redirected to the page then a proper redirection would be shown where you know um, the URL would be changed as well to the uh, whatever the redirection URL is and rewrite I'm just saying that when this URL, URL is hit show the page which is present in the destination route so in this case index.tsx it shouldn't change the URL the URL should remain the same but it should show a different page so basically it is kind of a masking or you can say a proxy where a URL would be the same but it will show a different page so it's very uh, useful for when you are you know maybe migrating a site uh, and changing the routes uh, to a new route pattern etc so today we'll look at how we can write rewrites in next.js so for that we have to edit next.config.js and we have to supply a function named rewrites it should be an async function and this async function returns an array of objects where object contains um, these two required params but um, others as well which we'll discuss uh, in a minute so source would be the path of the uh, for which the redirection should happen so in this case i've written slash about so in this case when slash about uh, hits then a redirection should happen to where in this case i've said slash so when i go to slash about it should show me the index.tsx page and this is actually the boilerplate page which is shown uh, in create next app so when i go to slash about it should uh, show me this page um, so this is what is known as simple path matching i supply a proper path i in the source i supply a proper path in the destination as well it would basically match it and it would basically show me that particular page in that supplied in the destination we can also uh, map a redirect between a local uh, website path to an external url which would be a different website altogether so uh, if i type the uh, path slash cricket so if i do slash cricket cricket you will see that it redirects to google.com the url remains the same but it basically shows me the uh, google.com page which i've written here so this is basically simple path matching now i can do variable path matching as well variable path i can do variable path matching by using a uh, colon sign so basically that would be a variable part of the url so it can be the source url can could be anything it could be slash blog slash one two three slash blog slash technology slash blog slash football etc it can be anything so whatever is present in this particular portion in place of colon slug it would be replaced here so if i it would be like this so if i open a url like slash blog slash technology 
it would be redirected to slash news slash technology same keyword so i uh, wrote technology here in case of colon slug so it would be replaced there as well so it would be redirected to a slash new slash technology page uh, which in this case i have already made so you can see that this page says all the technology news in one page so if i now go to this particular url you can see that loaded that page um, which is relative to um, slash new slash technology route um, this is simple but in this case i can only you know add one uh, particular word but i cannot have nested routes but you can have nested routes if you add a uh, static sign uh, after the colon um, word thing so now it would match any path so, uh, nested path so you can say uh, slash blog slash technology slash if i look at here yeah let's say chat gpt so this would be basically rerouted to slash news slash technology slash gpt so i as i replaced slug a uh, colon slug static with slash technology slash gpt um, the same thing was entered here as well so if i copy this route and i place it here you can see that it op uh, shows a page where it's written chat gpt is an ai model mode by, made by open ai so that is actually this page which is relative to the route new slash technology slash chat gpt so you can you know uh, match nested routes as well nested variable routes in a sense because it can be any route now we also can have a uh, path matching using regex so here is there it is symbol regex where it is saying that if any request comes to slash all blog slash uh, a word with only digits starting from one and you know it can be anything so it can be <coughs> three digits five digits ten digits it can be anything so as an example because i have uh, one page ready on the route blog slash one two three i can say that if i made a request to slash blog slash one two three it would go to slash blog slash one two three so let's try this i copy this and i enter it here you can see that shows a page which says new blog one two three page which is actually the page relative to uh, the route slash blog slash one two three so now <coughs> we have uh, seen simple path matching variable path matching variable nested path matching and index path matching now we can also this is a very advanced we can also match paths with respect to a cookie host header or host so in addition to source and destination we can also have a has uh, property and a missing property which have the same structure uh, we can pass we can match <coughs> routes which have the source this but also have these these things uh, available uh, we can also match routes which uh, have the url this but are missing these these parameters so we'll just cover has but um, you know you can do the same for missing <coughs> so in this case i'm saying that uh, for slash sports it should match to slash football but when and the type query has a key of type and a value of football so basically what i'm saying is that if there is a sports route with the query param type is equal to football then it should redirect to slash football <coughs> and this is a thing i think a uh, very common scenario uh, which we can run into so i already have a football page here which says this is a football page so if i go to slash sports slash a question type is equal football i'm passing query param i should land to slash football so if i copy this and i 
to place it here class sports you can see that uh, this redirects me to this is a football page which is basically this page football <coughs> you can also uh, using the has or missing uh, property you can also check for a custom header you can also check for the host and all you can also check for a custom cookie you have set so the possibilities are endless um, <coughs> you can also do advanced um, rewrites using a very advanced matching so if you want to tutorial on that I can make that but this is pretty much the gist of it and uh, even using these uh, few methods uh, a few techniques you can you know match any path and uh, write a rewrite for this in next.config.js so if you have any questions you can write in, uh, them in the comments if you have any queries you can also uh, write them in the comments if you like the video uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one bye